And he's injured. And he's got it. Five seconds to go and the Hawks are going to win. His teammates got no idea. They're kicking it. Oh, go. What a mark. Oh, what a mark. Kicks it short. Two on one. Oh, what a mark in the defense. Long kick. Oh, what a mark in the defense. Well, welcome along, everybody, to the big, big day on the Leo's NAB Challenge calendar. It is, of course, grand final day. It's the Bombers up against the Gold Coast, and what an incredible matchup this is going to be, boys. It's going to be an absolutely incredible matchup. The two top teams of the competition so far, and we'll get to your thoughts in just a moment, but and we'll get up to all the key concepts and all the key matchups. Uh, that we're going to be looking forward to uh, in the next 15 minutes. Um, let's get to your thoughts now, boys. Jong, what, who do you think is going to win this game? How is it going to play out? Well, I think this is going to be an absolutely brilliant game, Jim. I mean, it's, it's just going to be filled with excitement, I reckon. You know, we've got the two best teams in the competition going at it at the MCG. It's just going to be absolutely incredible. And, you know, I, I really can't pick a winner. If I had to pick someone... Probably the Bombers, they've got the experience in these grand finals. You know, they've played one before. They lost it against Port Adelaide. But uh, look, I reckon they'll be able to bounce back. And with their home fans at the MCG, I reckon it's just got to be. It's just going to be their day, the Bombers. Well, there you go. Jong is picking the Bombers to win. We'll get over to Jonathan, who's actually live down at the MCG in the stat shed. Jonathan, welcome to the pregame show. What are you? Where are you putting your money uh, for this game? Well, thanks, guys. I am indeed down in the stat shed here at the MCG, getting ready to bring you all of these statistics live uh, from the MCG once the game kicks off in just under 14 minutes. Now, my pick, well, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm going to be picking the Bombers for this one. As uh, Jong said, They've got the home ground, the Bombers, and I reckon they're just going to be too difficult to beat here on their home ground with all of the fans. It's going to be an electric atmosphere, and um, yeah, I, I'm going to pick. I'm, I'm picking the Bombers today, boys. Well, there's Jonathan down in the uh, stat shed at the MCG on ground level. We'll go ahead and get over to Jack, our new boy, uh, who's joined us for Leo's Nab Challenge 2021-2022. Jack, welcome to the Leo's Nab Challenge team. Who, where are you putting your money? Do you reckon the Suns can cause an upset? Well, considering what they did uh, against the Crows, it's uh, very interesting because they they were losing that game, but then they showed the fight to come back. And uh, I I, th I think if if they can if they're down against the Bombers in this game, can they prove? Can they be able to come back if they're down in the thirty point deficit as they were against the Crows? Or whatever the deficit was, it was about 20. Can they come back? Can they do it? I don't know. I think the Bombers will be too strong today. Well, there we go. We've got three predictions from the boys down here that the Bombers are just going to be too strong. If I was to pick a winner, I'd probably say the Bombers as well. They've got the home ground advantage. They've got the grand final playing advantage as well. They've played in one of those games before, and they know what's expected of them. They didn't get it right Last season, can they get it right this season? We're going to be finding out in now. Well, it's not long now. It's 12 and a half minutes to go. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, not not even 12 and a half minutes to go. It's 11 and a half minutes to go. Jim, get your maths right. <laughs> oh, sorry, boys. Uh, well, let's get into the matchups then. Uh, let's get into the table. So the final table, we're obviously only worried about Essendon and the Gold Coast here. Both won three out of three, but the Bombers with a significant percentage, Jim. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And 178.1% uh, to 153.1%. Could that be the turning factor uh, in the scoring in this game? The Bombers, they're good at scoring. The Suns, well, they're not as good, but they're still pretty good. And, you know, that table really does sum it up. First versus second. This is going to be an outstanding matchup. And uh, John has also joined us uh, live from the MCG. Uh, he is actually outside of the ground. John, what have you got for us? Well, boys, it's an absolutely electric atmosphere. We've got people flooding uh, into the gates here with not long to go until the bounce of the ball. It's an absolutely incredible atmosphere here, guys. 
Well, thank you, John, for that. And we've also got the other John joining us in the pre-game commentary box. John, we'll get you a quick tip here before we get into the analysis. Who's going to win? I'm going to say Gold Coast upset. I'm going to say it. And the reason why I'm going to say it is because the Gold Coast have just looked too strong in this competition. Now, I know the Bombers, they were really good um, against the Blues. And they had a really great win by 10 goals against the Kangaroos. And they had a great game against uh, the Western Bulldogs, actually, as well. Um, but look, I just don't think... I think the Suns might be able to cause an upset today. Wow, big tip from John, boys. Well, let's get into the analysis then. Let's take a look at the bracket before we do, actually, because this is interesting. So as we can see here, the bracket, well, what an interesting thing that it is. We saw the qualifying finals last week. Dogs lost to the Bombers and the Crows lost to the Suns. This is how these two grand finalists got here. Yeah, well, it's from the outset. They won their... They won their qualifying finals, and that's how you get into a grand final. You, you skip the semis, you go straight to the prelims, and if you win that one, you're into the grand final, and that's really the easiest way uh, to get to the grand final, just getting uh, into the prelims. And just looking at that table there, I mean, the Crows, they were doing fantastically well. They were the only team to be the away team and win, so props to the Crows for doing that. And But, uh, yeah, the Bombers and the Suns just too strong in that finals bracket. Yep, absolutely. Well, let's get into the players of the moment or the men of the moment. The leading goal kickers, James. Yeah, the leading goal kickers. I'll get into this. For Essendon, it's Jakey Carlisle. Um, he was just in all the places for the Bombers. He was just way too god. God, he was he was God and he was good. <laughs> he was good and he was fantastic. Um, with 17 goals in the regular season, he kicked three against the Blues, two against the Kangaroos. So he didn't have such a great start. But then he came back with a bag of 12 uh, against uh, the Western Bulldogs uh, in that round, uh, in that match 21. And then he kicked 15 in the finals uh, series so far with seven against the Cats and eight against the Western Bulldogs. And that adds up to 32 goals for the season. But, boys, it doesn't come close to Sammy Day for the Gold Coast Suns. He kicked 20 compared to Carlisle's 17 in the regular season. And then he's just gone and booted 26 goals in two, that's right, two matches in the final series with a whopping 17 goals against the Western Bulldogs in that, well, both of the teams got over 100 in that game. And that was just an absolutely incredible game that was the second qualifying final between the Dogs and the Suns. It was absolutely, it was the highest scoring game we've ever seen uh, in Leo's no challenge history, which is absolutely incredible. And another addition to that, Sam Day has been the man of the match in Every single game he's played here, can he top it off uh, and get the man of the match in the grand final? Oh, it'll be an absolute campaign and a half if he can do that. Sammy Day, undoubtedly the man of the tournament so far, booting a whopping 46 goals in five games. It's truly incredible. Uh, let's get into the more specific numbers here. First game, match four. Just kicked a casual eight against Richmond. Second game, a casual seven uh, against Collingwood in match 16. And then match 22 against the Eagles, he just kicks a bag of five like it's nothing. And then the final series, he comes out with a bang, as we said, 17 against the Dogs. And then a nine uh, goal showing against the Crows in the second preliminary final to knock them out. What a game that that was, the second prelim. Absolutely incredible. And if we go back to that game, the Crows really should have won it. Instead, they threw it away in that third uh, and fourth quarter. Well, they really threw it away um, in the fourth quarter when they conceded one, two, three, four goals in a row. And they let the Suns get in front. And then they tried to come back in the late stages of that game, but they just couldn't do it. It was a really, really tough effort from all teams in that game. And that's got to go down as one of the best games in the Leo's Nap Challenge history, boys. Yeah, absolutely. It has to. And, you know, the Crows from the outset, it was a slow start to the game. Um, it was eight all at quarter time. Uh, it was only one goal each at uh, quarter time. So it was a bit of a sluggish start. But then it really started to ramp up there with the Crows kicking one, two, three quick fire goals at the start of that second quarter. And then it was slow going. And then the Suns sort of come back in that third quarter. They gave themselves a charge, which is what um, needs to be done in these Leo's Nav Challenge games. And 
we're probably going to be seeing in the grand final as well. The Suns, they're not going to give up. And in the fourth quarter, it was just a fantastic showing from the Gold Coast Suns. It shows their endeavor and their attitude to not giving up on a game where they are, well, they where they were, in that case, almost 30 points down. Well, let's go to the disposal leaders. We've not got long now until the grand final gets underway. Just over five minutes to go until we get this grand final for the Leo's Nav Challenge 2021-2022 underway. Let's go to the disposal leaders then uh, for the Bombers. Well, surprise, surprise, it was actually Joe Watson, uh, not Jakey Carl. Did we go through the... No, we didn't. Oh, no, we did go through Jakey Carl, didn't we? I was getting a bit... Getting a bit of amnesia there. I'm not entirely sure if we actually went through Jakey Carlisle's stats, but indeed we did. Um, now, Joe Danaher, he almost got the leading goal, uh, leading disposals, but it was Joby Watson who picked it up. And he got, uh, well, it was more than 40 disposals. We don't actually have the exact number, but it was in excess of 40. Um, and uh, yeah, he was the leading disposals for the... Uh, Bombers, he kicked set a disposal count was 7, 14, 9, and 10 uh, in the games that he played. And he also had another game which he didn't get onto the disposal sheet. Um, and uh, yeah, disposal leaders for the Bombers, it was Job Watson uh, with with over 40 disposals. And the leading disposals for the Gold Coast Suns. Any guesses, boys? Any guesses? Sammy Day. Yep. Sammy Day uh, with, you know, a casual 13 against Richmond, 14 against Collingwood, 13 against West Coast, 18 against the Western Bulldogs, and 13 against the Adelaide Crows. That is what you call an absolute domination from one player, Sam Day. Yeah, he has been, <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Everywhere you go, every, anytime you look at a Gold Coast Suns game in this tournament, there's going to be Sam Day in pretty much every highlight package. He was just an absolute tank in the forward line for the Gold Coast Suns, and it was just an outstanding performance by his. He's got to be the outstanding player of the tournament. Um, you know, even if they don't win this uh, game, the Gold Coast Suns, he's still got to be the greatest player that we've ever seen. Yeah, you'd have to agree. And, you know, Sam Day, he's been influential. He's really put the Suns in this position here. They didn't make the final series last uh, yeah, they bailed out to Melbourne in that brilliant game in the elimination final up at Metricon Stadium where it went into overtime uh, last season. And uh, unfortunately, in, for the Gold Coast Suns' sake, Melbourne ran away with that game in the overtime period. Um, but they've come back stronger, the Gold Coast Suns, and they're looking, they're looking to make a statement here in this grand final. They want to win it. They want to send shockwaves through the Leo's NAB Challenge tournament for the next season. And uh, look... They're a real chance, but the Bombers, they know how to play this grand final. They lost one before. They know what they did wrong, and they can rectify their mistakes and bring in the big guns and win this grand final, I reckon. Yeah. Well, it's not long now. It's just under two and a half minutes to go, boys. So we're getting ready. Let's get to our commentary team, who is actually at the MCG Live. Uh, J uh, Jim is there. Jim, what is is the atmosphere like at the MCG. It's got to be a packed house. Yeah, well, boys, it is an absolutely packed house here at the MCG. It is absolutely incredible. I can't wait until the game. Just under two minutes to go now. Wow, the crowd's building fantastically and the players, they're doing their warm-ups. Oh, it is absolutely fantastic. Back to you, boys. Well, he sounds excited, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he does. We, we haven't heard him that excited, have we? <laughs> no, I don't think we have. He seems pretty excited, but there's not long now. There's only a minute and a half countdown left to go until these grand finals. Now, closing thoughts here, gentlemen. Are you, are you all still going for the Bombers? Are there any late dis, are late tips? Any late tip change? Jack? Uh, no, no tip change from me. Nah, Jong? Nah, still sticking with the Bombers. Jonathan? Yeah, boys down here in the stat shit. Yeah, I'm sticking with the Bombers for this one. Yes, and uh, I'll probably go be going for the Bombers as well. So it's an overwhelming tip to the Bombers here uh, with one sneaky tip uh, from the outside of the ground from Jim number one. 
who's going for the sun. So we've got 45 seconds until the bounce of the ball. It's happening now here at Leo's NAB Challenge. And we're going to get ready to cross live now to gym number two, who's in the commentary box at the MCG. So that has been the pre-game show from us. We'll get through to the commentary team who is at the MCG live for the grand final. It's the Essendon Bombers up against the Gold Coast Suns. We'll take it out live to our commentary team with the MCG, Jim Alapucciano. Thank you very much, John, and welcome to the MCG, everybody, for the Leo's Nap Challenge 2021-2022 Grand Final. We've been waiting for it ever since Boxing Day, ever since the first Leo's Nap Challenge the game of this season came out. We've been waiting for it ever since. Who was going to be in it? And this is the Bombers up against the Suns. The Bombers are in their second Grand Final in a row. They lost the first one to Port Adelaide, but the Suns, they're the newcomers to this. Yeah, they are, Jim, and, you know, it's going to be a really intriguing game. The crowd's in the house. We've got a good crowd in, and here we go. It's the first bounce of the ball, and there it is. So it's the grand final here today. It's the Bombers up against the Suns in the Leo's Nap Challenge grand final, and here go the Bombers. Early start, kick inside the forward 50. Carlisle's dropped a mark. He doesn't usually do that. Suns can work it out of their defensive 50 now, but that's going to be picked up by the Bombers again. So it's built on dispute. Here's Heppel. Runs the 45. Goal! First goal of the grand final goes to G. Heppel. And what was happening there in the defence of the Gold Coast Suns? Yeah, well, they got the ball and then they just lost it. And then Heppel kicks it from 45. And he puts it straight through the big sticks. First goal for the Bombers. Yeah, and this is our camera crew down on ground level. They've got insane camera zoom. And they've zoomed right in on Dyson Heppel. Reverse angle, he sneaks it home. And he gets the goal. And the six points the difference here. And the grand finals of the balls back in the middle. Suns play taps it down to the opposition. Yablet's there. He got the interception, did he? Yes, he did. Number 22 picks it up, kicks it inside the forward 50. Here's Sammy Day, the man of the tournament, really. He's been influential. Long kick, and that's straight to the defender. Yeah, not sure what he was doing there. Not his best kick, Sammy Day. He kicked a lot of good ones in the competition, but maybe the nerves are getting to him. Yeah, maybe the nerves are getting to him. And, you know, that is typical for this uh, grand final stage. The nerves do start to set in. The Bombers, they've been here before. Maybe they're not that nervous. Because they know what's expected of them. And they know that they lost the last one. Long kick, long kick. What's the Suns defender doing? And Carlisle, this is to get two in a row for the Bombers. Yeah, never in doubt. Never in doubt if the Bombers get two in a row. And it was just too easy. Yeah, well, it's terrible defending. He's actually, the defender's actually behind. You need to be the man in front if you want that mark. And once we get to the reverse angle, we'll be able to really see the, uh, what's going wrong here. So Suns deflect, the Suns play, he's just behind the man. That's, you just can't be doing that. And he stands the mark. He's looking into the crowd for some reason. He seems to be a bit daydreamy over Carlo. He easily slots it home and it's the second goal of the game. So ball back in the middle here. Bombers by 12. Suns need to get on the board. Yeah, well, they do. They can't let him get three goals in a row, and that's what they could be doing. And it's Carlisle once again. He's too good. Yeah, I mean, they said it in the pregame. He's been absolutely influential. And he gets another. So it's three goals in a row for the Bobbies to start this grand final. Yeah, well, this could be the quarter that defines the whole game. Carlisle, he's already got two. And the Suns, they've got nothing to show for themselves. Yeah. They've got nothing. Ball back in the middle. Three goals, the difference in the grand final. It's whoever wins this, they're going to be the premiers. They're going to be the big premiers. And the Suns, well, they've not had a good start here. Now, Michael Hurley injured. It's the first injury of the game, but it doesn't matter. Because it's another kick inside the forward bit of the Bombers. And this could be a four goal to nil start in the grand final. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. And the Bombers, they're looking sharp today. They've got four goals in a row to nothing. Yep. They're just too good to bomb us so far. The Suns, they don't have any options. They can't shut them down. They can't do anything. And it's another goal to Carlisle. It's straight through the middle. He gets his third of the day already. And he's just been influential. Here's a reverse angle. Straight through the big sticks. And he gets it. So ball back in the middle. It's four goals, the difference. Here in the grand final. And that could be going again. Yablet interception. But he hand passes it to the opposition. But Jago and Mira picks it up. So here go the Suns. They need this. Plays on inside the 50. Brilliant defending by the Bombers man. Although his counterpart dropped it. Throwing the ball. Well, we haven't seen that before. 
And it's going to be a long kick from the Suns man. Straight to the defender. So that's the second time that's happened. So from the two times that the Suns have gone inside the forward 50, they've both been turned over and marked by the defence. Yes. And uh, that's not what you want to see. It's a real coach killer. Yeah, it is. And Stewie Jew could be passed out by the end of this quarter because the Bombers could be getting five in a row. And here it is. Here's Carlisle once again. He could get a bag of four. And he does. It's 30 to zero. It's like the first half of a quarter of the game. Well, this is unprecedented, actually. It's 30 to zero in the grand final. And the Bombers, they want to redeem themselves from last year's grand final. Or from last season's grand final. Yeah, they absolutely do. And they're doing it fantastically here in the first quarter. And here they go again. Maybe not. Sunsmans picks it up. And dropped it. Here's Stanton. So it could be six goals. He runs inside the forward. 50. Good defending from the Suns. Play to get attack it away. Danaher. Ball. Well, that was good from the Suns. That was really good. They, they pulled their head out of their ass and they realised what was happening. It's 30, to, 30 nil. And uh, now they could go and get a goal here for themselves. Their first one. Nope. That Suns play run away from the ball. Joe Watson is fatigued. He drops it. 27 picks it up in the middle of the ground. Ball. Yep, Jonathan Giles, ball. There's a minute 50 to go in the first quarter. The Suns are on zero. And here's the mark inside the forward, 50. So it's Tommy Lynch who can get the first goal for the Suns. And he does. So the Suns are on the board in the grand final. Yeah, they are. And they desperately needed that after an onslaught, slaughtering from the Bombers inside the first half of the quarter. Yeah, five goals to nil inside the first half of the quarter. And uh, that's not what you want to see in a grand final. No, it's not. It's really poor from the Suns. But they've got one back, which is good to see. So, ball back in the middle. Now it's back down to 24 points of difference. We haven't seen it behind in the game so far. Yablet. He tried to intercept it. And in the end, it sort of worked out. And the Suns are going again. Here's number 35. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Can the Suns get a couple here before the quarter time break? It'll really be a good thing. And there's a mark. Yeah. Two in a row for the Suns is looming. And Sammy Day gets it. So it's two in reply for the Suns here. And it's back to three goals of difference. Well, this is a good fight back from the Suns. Really good fight back. And as you can see, Sammy's Day with a little bit of a stutter step. But he makes no mistake. He puts it straight through the big sticks. And the Suns fans are happy. There's the mark. You can look at the MCG. It's packed full of the fans here at the air. Uh, the grand final of Leo's Nap Challenge. Just gone straight through the big sticks. There's nothing much more to say. Let's get it back in the middle. Time for another play here in the first quarter. There's just over a minute left here. Yablet with the interception out of the middle. Tommy Nichols just had to get the hand pass away. He was feeling a little bit tired. Lynch. Ball. Tried to be a hog. Yeah, and he was a hog. And he tried to be fancy with it. And he just really messed it up, to put it simply. Yeah, well, that could have really given the Sun some hope there. But in the end, the hope has been revoked. And there's a kick inside the forward 52, Danaher. Yep. And this is to get one back for the Bombers to cancel one of those Suns goals out. And he gets it. Danaher gets a goal. There's three quarters of a minute to go. Yep. Two good Bombers. And uh, this is their second grand final. They know how to play in them. Although they did lose the last one. But that's straight through the big stick from big boy Danaher. So 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. Can the Suns maybe get two? They need to to keep themselves in the game, but it's not looking likely. Although Yablet with the interception, he was good there. Lynch now needs to get rid of the ball. And he didn't, but it's going to be a ball up nevertheless. So half a minute to go. The Suns need at least one goal before the quarter time break. Yeah, they do. Bell Chambers. Gee, did really well to get the handbars away there. And it's a kick inside the 50. It's uncontested. And Windelich takes the mark. And Windelich kicks the goal. And it's back out to five goals, the difference. And the two goals that the Suns kicked just there, they pretty much don't even matter. No, but they don't because the Bombers have just gone and kicked two goals themselves. And it cancels out those other goals from the Suns. And, uh, yeah. It's just a good day for the Bombers so far in this first quarter. They've been dominating. Yeah. Oh, gee. And that went really close to the post there, but he put it through Windelich. So not long left in this first quarter of the Leo's Nab Challenge 2021-2022 Grand Final. Almost holding the ball. Now the Suns, can they go here with seven seconds to go? Marked. Now Day, he's got to find a target inside the forward 50, although he can go himself. 
Siren's gone, and it's marked in the defence. Well, there we go. So quarter time here in the grand final. We didn't see a point. Look at that ball possession. Let's go down to Jonathan, who's in the stat shed at ground level. What have you got for us, Joe? Well, thanks, guys. Uh, well, it was a really dominant performance from the Bombers there. Seven goals straight to two goals straight. The ball possession, as you said, guys, was completely one-sided. It was two-thirds to the Bombers, one-third to the Suns. Handballs are in favour of the Bombers. Tackles are in favour of the Suns, but maybe that's not a good thing. Kicks are 20 to 9 in favour of the Bombers and marks are 13 to 6 in favour of the Bombers. And the, score, the uh, stat that matters most, as you guys know, is the scoreboard. The Bombers are leading in that department by plus 30. Suns need to get back in the second quarter. Back up to you, boys. Thanks, Jonathan. And uh, we'll go down to Cato, who's now, uh, well, well, Cato's sitting right next to me. What did you notice inside that first quarter? Well, it was an absolutely dominant display from the Bombers. From the outset, they kicked five goals in a row, and they just didn't look like giving the Suns any chance. And you mentioned those first two inside 50s that the Suns had, they were marked in the defence. So we're going to see what the Suns can produce. They're going to be having a spray by Stewie Jew. And that man himself, he's played in the grand final. So we're going to see what he can produce. Let's get into the second quarter, guys. Second quarter, here we go. Bounce of the ball is now. The Bombers are up by 30 points. Bell Chambers gets the tap down to his colleague. And the Bombers are already looking sharp out of the middle early. Happo. Kick inside the 40 years to 2 on zero. Yeah, it is. First 10 seconds, and the Bombers are going to get a goal. Carlo. Oh, yeah, what a start. What a start inside the first quarter of a minute. And it's up to a game high lead of 36 points now. Yeah, well, they could be running away with this, the Bombers, in this quarter. And uh, the Suns, they can't let this be happening. No, they can't. It's a terrible start as far as they're concerned. And the Bombers, well, they could just be putting on a clinic. Well, that's a good tackle. That's a really good tackle from that Suns man. And that should give him some confidence. Yeah, it should. It really should. And, uh, you know, with four and a half minutes to go, there's still plenty of time. Still plenty of time for the Suns to work themselves back in this. Now, this is Supergold territory. Now, it kicks a short lynch. Well, he plays on and messes it up. Terrible decision. And he should have just gone back and kicked the goal from 20 metres out. And that's really going to put a huge dent in the Gold Coast Suns' confidence. Yeah, well, the, the whole team's just going to be feeling down now. Tommy Lynch has been too much of a hulk this game. We saw him in the last quarter try to be fancy and impress his girlfriend. And we saw it again in this quarter. And, you know, at the end of the day, she'll be probably getting a, a divorce. And it's not what you want to see. No, it's not. And the relationship with the girlfriends and the relationship with the teammates have ended. And that number 16, Ranger in the square, he needs to be doing better. Carlisle's going to get another. Yes, he is. And it's out to 42 points of difference now. And it's not looking good for the Suns. No, there's just been too many errors. Errors in the defence, errors in the attack, and it just leads to errors all round. It's a kick from seven metres out. I'm not sure how the Suns man on the mark didn't even get a smother in there. He should have smothered that one, but he didn't. Bill Chambers gets the ruck work again, and he picks up his own ruck work. It's just perfectly working out for the Bombers in this game. And it could be yet another goal. Yeah, it could be. It could be an absolute blowout. And Carlo once again, what's number 16 doing? He's got no idea. And it's another goal. And it's almost 10 goals a difference. Well, it's unprecedented. It's really unprecedented. There's the kick inside the forward 50. And here's the goal from Carlo. He's got another. I reckon he's got at least seven now. And here it is from the square. So the Suns player isn't even paying attention. And he's not even on the man. No, he's not. And uh, he's not even looking at the person who's kicking the ball. He's actually just looking into space. So he's got no idea. It's 10 straight goals to the Bombers to two for the Suns. And they're going out again here. So this could get it out. And it's another mark to Windelich. And this could be another goal. It could be game over here by half time. And it's 11 goals straight for the Bombers. And they're getting their redemption. It's 54 points of difference now, and it's just all one-sided. What are the Suns doing? Well, the Suns, they were prolific in the final series. They came back against Adelaide in that prelim, and now they've just flopped over against the Bombers, and this is really just, just really sad. But that's good. 
Was that the same Suns play that got the other tackle in against Stanton? I'm not entirely sure, but it possibly could be. And that was a dangerous kick for the Suns play. Managed to mark it. So the Suns, they need to kick at least five goals in this last two and three quarters of a minute. And that's a terrible kick. Yeah, it's horrible. First boundary throw into the day in the Suns forward 50. They need a goal. And that's an understatement. Yeah, it is. They, they need at least... Uh, Four, seven goals if they want to work them way. Well, that was a good tackle. Now, here's a chance. Here's a chance. Tommy Lynch with the shepherd. And Stanley's kicked it out of bounds on the foot. Well, that summed up their day perfectly so far, the Suns. There's half a quarter to go in the second quarter. And, uh, I mean, it's just not looking good for the Suns at the moment. No, that it's not. They haven't scored this quarter either. So, they could be doing what they did last game and not scoring a single point in the second quarter yeah they did that last game as well and here's Carlisle once again but that was a two on one I think and he still managed to win it somehow so two minutes to go Carlisle gets another and it's ten goals the difference unbelievable in a grand final it's ten goals the difference well no I never expected to see this absolute shocking from the Suns absolutely shocking rather and it is just an absolute blowout at the moment. It's 12 goals straight to two. We haven't seen a single point. No, we haven't. And here they go again. Heppel managed to get rid of it. Yabla picks it up. Now, he needs to really encourage his team here. He really needs to get the team spirit up. They need five goals to Suns before the end of this quarter. And it's not... Oh, no. It's not looking... Oh, he took a specky on his own player. Oh, look at that. On his own player. Unbelievable. Well, that just shows you the team bonding of this Bombers team. The chemistry is just too good at the moment. And their spirits are just up high, high, high. Yeah, they are. And, uh, <laughs> wow, it's really good to see if you're a Bombers fan. And it's really shit to see if you're a Gold Coast Suns fan. It's another kick inside the forward 50. And the position just becoming more and more one-sided as the seconds pass by. And it's another goal to the Bombers. And this is just becoming a complete shit show. Yeah, well, I never thought I'd see a grand final as one-sided as this. These are the two best teams in the competition, mind you. And it's, at the moment, it's looking like it's first place versus 18th place. Yeah. And the number 16 defender, he's been at the centre of it. He doesn't know what he's doing. No. It's just like when you're in a workplace and you don't know what you're doing, you might need to go back and ask the coach, how do I play footy? Yeah, he's not going to be happy with that, is he? No, he's not. Here's Lynch, running inside the 50. Now he takes a bounce. Now this could be a goal. He's running, 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 and he misses. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely woeful, to be completely honest with you. Look at the run he runs. It's a sensational run. He takes a bounce, and he's got all the players around him. He decides to be a hog, and his girlfriend is definitely getting the divorce papers ready. Well, as a matter of fact, his wife is. Yeah. No one's happy with Tom Lynch at the moment, especially us boys in the commentary box. Yeah, he, he just hasn't been good this game. He just hogs the ball too much. And with a half a minute to go in the second quarter, you need to be putting those through if you're going to be... You know, if you're going to be running and taking a bounce, you should be converting the goals. And if you can't do that, you just need to pass off the ball. It's not difficult to do. And here's Bell Chambers, and number 16, he is just ball watching. Well, this is to get it out to 61 points, and it does. No, not even 61 points, 70 points. It's 71 points, the difference. It's unprecedented. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely one-sided. You know, we're not even getting excited anymore. There's really nothing to be excited about in this game. It's 71 points of difference. The Bombers haven't kicked it behind, and here they go again. Yep, here they go again. Look at Bell Chambers. He just loves playing this game, doesn't he? And it's going to be another chance for the Bombers just before the halftime break. And they're going to get 100. We can already tell. Carlisle, he misses. Right on the siren. And it's the first behind of the game to the Bombers. Let's take a look at it before we go down to the stat shed with Jonathan. Yeah, well, it's absolutely terrible from the Suns. The whole game. They only kicked one point that quarter. And look at the ball possession. Let's get down to Jonathan with a bit more analysis on that stat sheet. Let's go down to him now. Jonathan, what have you got down in the stat sheet? Well, boys, it's... Whew, 
As you said, it's an absolutely one-sided affair to the Bombers. It's 73% to 27% ball possession. That is indeed the most one-sided ball possession we have seen all season. Tackles are 11 to 22 in favour of the Suns. That's probably why they're losing. Handballs are one-sided. Kicks are one-sided. And marks are one-sided. And the stat that matters the most, boys, the scoreboard, the Bombers are dominating. They're dominating in everything, the Bombers. Oh, I mean, the Suns, they might as well just head back up to Queensland. They've been that bad. Well, there's a really scathing report there from Jonathan down in the stat shed. Let's get down to Caddo, and he's known for his scathing reports. How would you describe the Suns' first half? Fucking terrible, if I have to put it simply. It's been absolutely shocking. Shambolic, shameful, terrible, idiotic, and just all round just infuriating. And I'll tell you what, if they've been... I don't have any words to describe it, actually. It's just been absolutely terrible. And the Suns fans who've, you know, paid their money, they've worked hard all year, they've saved up their funds, they've gone to Melbourne, they've booked a flight, they've booked a accommodation, and they've come down here to Melbourne to see this bullshit. And I'll be completely honest with you, the Gold Coast Suns should be reimbursing their fans that have been that bad this game. Yeah. Well, we're saying all of this, and if they go ahead and come back here... No, 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 no. They won't. Next quarter, let's go. Okay. Scathing comments there from Cato. Let's get into the second half. Five minutes on the clock and the Bombers. Well, they're already just looking fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, early tackle there from Heppel. Ball up. It's 72 points of difference. The Bombers are going to get it to 100. Let's just say that. Here's Bell Chambers. Tackled immediately. Ball up. So, what do we need to expect from the Suns here, boys? Well, they need to kick at least seven goals. I mean... The... I don't know. They really just have to find something within them. And uh, they need to do it now. Well, here could be the chance to get one. They just need to start. And they need to keep going. That's all they need to do. And that's a good mark from Sammy Day. That was a three-on-one against him. We can find a target inside the 450, but that's a terrible kick. Really terrible kick. And the Bombers are going to get out here again. Here's Zaharakis handball to Stanton in the middle of the ground. And who's on Carlisle? He's all on his own, 30 metres out. No one's on him. And this is for another goal for him. Oh, he's at the post. That's two misses in a row for him. Yeah, well, at least it hasn't been goal, goal, goal inside the first minute. That's a, maybe a positive thing from the Suns. Uh, but no, they're definitely going to be losing this game. They, they can't win from here. They can't. There's just no way. There's just no plausible way that they can come back. For that reason, for that exact reason, Harley Bennell, he needs to get it, be getting rid of the ball. I'm not sure what possibly be good about holding it on for that long. And here's Bill Chambers, that was a three on one. Yep. And this is for another goal for the Bombers, so this is get it out to a incredible 79 points. And he's got it. He's got the goal, does Bill Chambers. And this game is becoming a joke. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what the Suns are doing. Maybe they've been paid large sums of money. The Bombers didn't want to be humiliated for two years in a row. But, I mean, this is just on another level bad. Just absolutely on another level bad. Straight through the middle from Bell Chambers. He gets in on the action. And it's 79 points the difference. Well, both of these teams were unbeaten in the whole season, including finals. So... I mean, you, you, you would have expected a closer game than this. But here's a chance for the Suns to get one back. So here's Day. He's been influential all season and he's missed it. That's a real letdown, isn't it? Yeah, it summed up their day perfectly, the Gold Coast Suns. We don't need to look at the replay. Director, get it off the screen. It's 13 points. It's 13 goals. The difference, not 13 points. Well, he's kicked that straight to the opposition. He has that Bombers defender. And it's going back inside the forward 50. And there's Mark to Sam Day. So he can kick it from here, definitely. And this is to get his third goal of the game. The Suns' third goal of the game. And he gets it. Sam Day gets the goal. Yeah, well, it's a terrible kick out from the defence from the Bombers, uh, Bombers man. And it came straight back in from the Suns. And that's what, they need to, that's what they need to do. So can they kick 
12 goals in the next quarter and a half. Well, look, it's looking more and more unlikely by the second. And here's Stanton, drops it. Number nine manages to pick it up. He's going to run inside the forward 50. No, he's not. He's going to kick a short Carlisle. So this is to immediately cancel out that Gold Coast Suns goal. He's going to get it. Yeah, you just know he will. And it's back out of 78 points. Yeah, it is. And there's a kick inside the forward 50. It's too easy from the Bombers. I mean, this is just an absolute shambolic display from the Gold Coast Suns. Nah. I mean, it's D-grade performance, to be completely honest with you. It's absolutely terrible. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing really much more we can say. They'll be talking about this for years. Yeah, but we, we were talking about how close this game was going to be. But as a matter of fact, it's been absolutely terrible. Yeah. I just don't really know what to say. The Suns have just been woeful. We've been saying it all game. It's 78 points of difference. There should not be this big of a margin in a grand final. No, it shouldn't. And there's a mark. So, this is to get the Bombers to 100. And it, for, to get it out to a game high lead. There it is. There's triple figures for the Bombers. And it's 84 points of difference. This could be an 100 point difference, mind you. This could be a 100 point deficit. Well, it would be the biggest win of any team in Leo's Nap Challenge history if it gets out to that much. It'd be an absolute terrible day for the Suns. It's 104 to 20. Yablet got tackled. I'm pretty sure that's holding the man, but the umpire's not going to give it, but the Suns are going to end up with it anyway. So, they need a goal, the Suns. They can't lose by 100 plus points. That's probably their goal for this game. Brilliant attempt from number 12. Giles is going to pick it up. And he's going to get it out of the defence. It's too easy. Zaharakis, he can play on if he wants to. But he wants to be sensible on the wing. So, it's too good defending from the Bombers. And the attacking has just been outstanding. And here's Wendelicht. So, this is super goal territory for him. He kicks it from just on the 50. He's going to sail through for another one. And it's 90 points. The difference. This is the biggest margin we've seen in Leo's Nap Challenge history. Yeah, it is. It's the biggest margin ever in the history of Leo's Nab Challenge. And it is an absolute blowout beyond compare. Yeah, it is. And this is a long kick from Winderlick right on the 50 metre line. And it just sails through. Nothing the Suns defenders can do about it. And uh, it could be getting out to 100 points here. Yeah, it is. Could be. Yablet. Hand pass it to O'Meara. He kicks it backwards. And it worked out to number 35. So the Suns. Can they do something? They've only kicked three goals in this game. Sammy Day's there. Yeah, well, he can get this. 15 metres out. Should be no problem. And it isn't. Goal for the Suns. It's not going to matter, though. No, it's not. And let, let's just get the replays off. Director, skip the replays, director. Skip the replays. Thank you. 84 points of difference. 14 goals. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Here they go again, the Suns, though. So that kick wasn't as good as the last one from number one. And the Suns are going to mop it up in their defensive half. So here goes number one. Oh, he's hand passed it backwards. Well, that was the smother from the Suns player. So this is going to be two in a row. And it is. So two in a row for the Suns late in the third quarter. And that's what we should be seeing more from the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, that intensity was really good from them. And I'm not sure why we haven't been seeing that all game. It's two in a row for the Gold Coast Suns. But it's too little too late for them. Yeah, it is. And take a look at this from the ground level. So the smother from that other Suns player. And then 32 puts it straight through the big sticks. Yeah, he does. And Tommy Nichols has gone off. Danny Stanley has come back on. Here's Yablet. That's turned over. Good, good. That's good from Yablet. He got the hand pass away, it turned over, and then he followed it up with the tackle. Ten. Hand passes it off. And well, he, he got rid of the ball there, so that was good from the Suns player. Heppel injured. So big injury for the Bombers, but you reckon they've got a big enough margin to hold onto it if the Suns were somehow to mount a comeback. Now! Ball. 20 seconds to go on the clock. The Suns could get three goals in a row here. And there's a mark. 15 seconds to go. This could be another. And Sammy Day is there again. 47 metres out. Wind didn't blow it back. Yeah, well, there's not much wind at this ground. And it's blowing in the uh, 
forwards and backwards directions. It's not going in the side-to-side -side directions in terms of the goals. Um, but yeah, the Bombers have got the win this quarter and uh, they've just they've just been good whether, regardless if they've had the win or not. So three-quarter time here. And the margin has been reduced down to 77 points. Let's get down to Jonathan in the stat sheet. Possession has evened out slightly. Yeah, it, it has, guys. And, uh, well, it's 110 to 33. I mean, it, that really just sums up the whole game, doesn't it? Ball possession, that also sums up the whole game. It's a two-thirds to a third. Handballs, 28 to nine. Tackles, Suns are winning in that department. That's why they're losing. That's what we've been saying. Uh, kicks 55 to 32, marks 41 to 20. So it's completely one-sided. This fourth quarter is going to be a walk in the park. In fact, they can bring on the C-grade team, the Bombers, and I reckon I'd still win the game. Back up to you boys in the commentary box. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, Caddo, I mean, there's really no point in me asking this, but what did you notice in that third quarter? Well, what I noticed in that third quarter was everything that I noticed in the quarters be beforehand. Yeah, perfectly summed up. Let's get into the last quarter. So the last quarter of the Leo's Nap Challenge Grand Final. This one, it hasn't been a memorable one for the Suns, but it's definitely been a memorable one for the Bombers. And here they go straight away. So here's Carlisle. He's got to be man of the match again. And he gets another one for the Bombers. It's the first goal of the last quarter. It's back out to 83 points. Yeah, it is. And he's just been influential, Carlisle, the whole season. He's got to be man of the tournament. It sails through the big sticks. And it's 83 points the difference. Well, I came here into the ground today, guys, thinking that we were going to see a good game. I came in. I got a taxi into the ground. And here they go again. Sorry to cut you short. It's two goals in a row to the Bombers. Ambrose getting in on the action. And, uh, well, this is incredible. Out of the middle. Sorry to cut your taxi story off, Joan. But it's 30 metres out. It's a simple put through. What's the Suns defence doing? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, guys, um, I got the taxi in today. And uh, I was thinking, well, what a matchup this is going to be. Bombers versus Suns. But then I'm sitting here now thinking, oh, what's happening? Well, they've got one back, the Suns, there. But they really shouldn't be celebrating. No, nah, let's just skip the replay, director. Skip skip replay. Thanks. Yeah, we don't need to see any of that. No, we don't. It's 83 points of difference. So the challenge for the Bombers here, this is now the making it into a challenge now. <laughs> it's been that easy. They want to try and get the deficit to 100 plus points. Yeah, that's going to be their goal. And the Suns' goal is going to be not to get it to that. And that's a really sad goal to try and to be achieving. Trying to keep it under 100 points. In a grand final. Yeah, that's that's really sad, isn't it? It is. But he's going over the Suns again. Two in a row. And he's put it through the big sticks, has Sam Day. So he's got a bag, Sam Day. And he's probably been the best player on the pitch for the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah, yeah he definitely has. And Tommy Lynch has been the worst player on the pitch. Let's just put that out there. It's a good kick from Sammy Day. Straight through the big sticks. And it's down to 77 points now. So it's been a long, long day for the Suns, but it's been a quick and fun day for the Bombers. They're just going to be having a night out tonight. They're going to be going to the pub. They're going to be having 10 beers. And the Suns, well, they're going to be on a very, very quiet flight home back to the Gold Coast. Yeah, they are. The Suns are, they're just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to be doing, but I definitely would not want to be in the Suns camp at the end of this game. It's another goal to the Bombers while we're just talking about it. We're not even commentating the game anymore. We're just kind of going to be commentating what's going to be happening after the game because we already know the result of this game. I mean, pff, the Bombers, they're just going to be, it's going to be a party night for them. Get the shots out, get the beers out, vodka, whiskey, gin, get it all out. And uh, it's just been too good. Yeah, the Bombers, they are going to be partying all night tonight. Three minutes to go in the last quarter. The Suns' misery is almost over. And well, they've done well here, the Suns, to not keep themselves under 30 points. Um, they're on to 45. It's a respectable score. But what's not respectable is what they've conceded. Yes, that's absolutely right. 128 points I've conceded. It's almost the most that's been conceded 
uh, in this season. The record is 133, and that was conceded by the Dogs. But to be fair to the Dogs, they scored 119 points themselves in that game. And here we go. So here we go. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not sure what Carlo was doing. And finally, number 16's marked one. Well, we didn't do anything right there, actually. He, he went behind the man again. Carlo just misjudged it. Yeah. And that's just too good of a mark once again from number 27, Giles. He takes the mark, and it's way too easy. Yeah, it is. And here's number 23. So the 20s are linking up here. This could be a kick to number 22, Carlisle. And it is. Oh, wow. Well, it's the second time in a row that's happened. Carlisle hasn't marked the ball. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Good mark. Two-minute warning on the Tissot clock, but it's not a warning for the Bombers. It's a, celebra it's a celebratory two minutes for them. Yeah, they're going to... They, they know they've won now, the Bombers. It's a minute and three quarters of a minute to go. That's outside the 50. Three of the points. So not long now but before they're going to be putting up a big flag up at the MCG, the Bombers. They are going to be winning the second grand final of the Leo's NAB Challenge. Yeah, they are. A minute and a half to go. Not long left now. 128 to 46. What an outstanding performance has been from the Bombers. And they've only lost one game in the entirety of their history. And that was the grand final last year. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible from them. It's another goal. So there's the record for the most points conceded in a, in a game in Leo's NAB Challenge. Goes to the Gold Coast Suns and that was in the grand final. Yeah, not, not a title that you want to be uh, receiving. And uh, it's 22 goals, two, for the Bombers. That's just outstanding. Well, mind you, there's a minute to go. There's still an opportunity for there to be an 100-point deficit here, but it's not looking likely because the Suns have a chance to kick a goal now. Yeah, they do. So let's see if they can do it. Short kick inside the forward 50. Punch. Looks like the Bombers man's going to pick it up, and he is. He's too good. The Bombers in the defence. And there's a mark to Danaher. So if they go and kick two quick ones here, the Bombers, it's going to be 100 points of difference. It's going to be the biggest margin ever. And there's a mark to Carla. So he marks one this time. Well, he marks it that time. And half a minute to go. He gets another one. It's 94 points the margin with half a minute to go. Can you believe it? The Bombers are going to be the Premiers. Yeah, but they've come back outstandingly from last year's final. And they've gone ahead and won this one in outstanding fashion. Could it be 100 points? Well, we're going to be finding out here. Ball back in the middle. Bounce. 33 seconds to go. Can the Suns make it a minus 100 points? Well, it doesn't look likely because they're going now inside the forward 50. Short kick. Sam Day's there. And if he kicks this, as far as the Bombers concerned, it's going to be unfortunate for them. There's a the goal. It's back down to 88 points now with a quarter of a minute to go. And let's skip through the replays. We don't need to see them. No, the Suns don't deserve replays. It's only the Bombers. So, 12 seconds to go. The Bombers. Wow, what a team that they are this season. They've been way too good. And they're going to be lifting the flag up in the 2021-2022 season. There's the siren. And the Bombers win the grand final. Deservedly by a whopping... 88 points. It was an absolute shellacking today in the Bombers. They're going to be celebrating all night long tonight. It's the Bombers by 88 of the Grand Shit,